Whitney McClintock has said water skiing is in her DNA. She started at age two. Her parents were national and international champions. Same with an aunt and uncle. Her brother Jason McClintock is also competing at the Pan Am Games. With that background, she skied to her second gold medal at these games. Being in Canada with a home crowd, competing on home water, there's nothing quite like it. So it's a pretty special experience. Urging him on to get over the final archer, he does it. There were gold medals for Canada today on land as well. A gold for equestrian jumping in the team category. The five-member team included Canada's oldest Pan Am athlete, 68-year-old Ian Miller, a 10-time Olympian. Captain Canada, Ian Miller. On a course of a different kind, the decathlon continued into its second day with Canadian Damien Warner leading in points. He came in first in the 110-meter hurdles, but sixth in the pole vault and third in the discus throw. His last event, the 1,500-meter run. Warner took off at one point running a full 100 meters ahead of the pack. By the finish line, he had smashed through Michael Smith's Canadian record for the decathlon that had stood since 1996. At the line, yes, 4.20. Also back on the track today, sprinter Andre de Grasse, fresh from last night's gold medal performance in the 100 meter dash. Today's runs, the qualifying race and semi-final race for the 200 meter dash. DeGrasse managed to recover from a shaky start to take the lead and beat off a challenge from Cuban Roberto Skyers to win the first race by one one hundredth of a second. But in the semifinals, DeGrasse came in third. Today was two in one day, so I, I felt it. I felt it in that last race. But um, I'm going to go back, get some rest, get some treatment, and I'm going to be ready for tomorrow. He still qualified for tomorrow's final 200-meter race for the medals. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.